Happy Friday morning. Got a bunch of stuff to do before we leave. So I'm trying to uh, fold up some charts. Kitty wants to play. Don't you, Kitty? Yeah. Oh, you want me to scratch you there? <sighs> okay, these were rolled up and I'm going to uh, fold them. Fold them in half and then half. Fold them. There we are, folded. Pretty sure I got the boat loaded. Except for the dinghy. So we're gonna load that up. So that'll be cute. I've never loaded this dinghy. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in frontwards or backwards. I think probably backwards, so the back will be towards the front of the boat. And the pointy end will go that way. There we go. It wasn't so hard. It'd be a little easier without the house right beside me. Got the dinghy tied to this back pole so that the lip doesn't slip off. It's only got about a three eighths of an inch uh, of the lip that sits on here, so I don't want that to break off. So I tied it back so it can sit on more structure. Okay, now let's just strap it down and uh, we're good, good to go. I've got the main yellow strap on, and I'm just putting these uh, red ones on. Uh, but why not, hey? Got them. Looks like the boat's ready to go. I'm gonna put away the ladder, hook up the car. What else do I have to do? Um, finish packing. I'm gonna grab a little bit of food stuffs on the way out of town. Some snacky stuff. <laughs> and by snacky stuff, I mean some nice dried meats, nice dried cheeses. Here we go. Leaving. And now I'm not uh, well. I'm not a, at the edge of the city or anything. Just leaving home. And uh, got a three-hour drive. It's 11:30. We should be there by three-ish. I do plan to stop for lunch. So we'll do that. Before we get out of town, we're going to stop for coffee. Because I can always use a new coffee. Why not? Well, I got a little ways out of town and I stopped and I've checked the, the hubs to see if they're warm or not. And they're perfect. They're not warm. They're just perfect. So my, uh, my bearings, hopefully, are going to last a long time this time. Disappointed with that last uh, batch of bearings. I, I'm pretty sure I got them from Princess Auto. I'm gonna check my receipts and uh, and see because it wasn't. It was just last year that I redid those. I'm just getting into the little town of Walkerton. Let's say so little. It's uh, probably 6,000 people here. I'm gonna stop here for lunch. As soon as I find a little restaurant downtown, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and park a parallel park a uh, sailboat downtown. 
That should go well. That ought to do. This is my view from lunch. Sleepy little town, Walkerton. Well, I'm leaving Walkerton now. It's going up the hill. And uh, yeah, I had a nice lunch, fish and chips. And I've got about a 45 minutes before I get to Wyerton. That's where I'm going. That's a front, or well, the front's already coming through. That's uh, what's behind the front. It's a cold front coming in. Dry air though. this. Four sailboats. Imagine that. There's a bay. It's Cold Boys Bay. Let's go sailing. I'm walking my dinghy in the wind. That uh, cloud formation is pretty cool. It's part of the, the front coming in. Neat. There's All the wind is underneath these clouds just getting pushed in this way. Almost all set up. I'm gonna throw my boom on and get my flags up. I'm gonna find the one. Uh, here's the trick in the siren to kind of getting everything put away. I store these bins underneath here. You can store three under each side. Uh, I've only brought three. I'm gonna store one under each side, and then this other one has my clothes in it. I'll uh, leave out. These other ones have uh, cooking stuff, the stove and coffee pots and that. And then the other stuff is in here, uh, like knives and forks and plates and whatever. Ah, and, yeah, the stuff back here, I've got the sails, they'll go here overnight. The anchor, well, it'll be in the water, so it'll be fine. And the water and all that other stuff is fine there. And uh, I've got my motor on, gas cans in the back. At night, I'll be putting it in the uh, cockpit and uh, just tying it on so it doesn't uh, uh, disappear. Yeah. And I'm leaving the keel up this uh, time. In the past, I've let the keel go down and listened to thunk, 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 thunk all the time. So this time, I'm going to leave it up and uh, not listen to it at all. Uh, I don't need it when I'm out anchoring. And yeah, I'll probably put the tiller on and lash it to one side so that it kind of keeps us in the wind or so it slowly dogs or drifts back and forth instead of uh, quickly darting like this. And I'll have the dinghy tied behind too, so it, uh, it'll be bouncing around back there, following us back and forth. Okay, uh, I'm going to need to put on pants. It's uh, 17 degrees here and dropping. The clouds look really cool. Look at those clouds. That's neat stuff. So the wind's going to die down overnight and uh, it's going to switch a little bit. Gonna go down to nine degrees Celsius tonight. Nine is fine with me. I'll be toasty warm, snug as a bug in a rug in here. This is a pretty good uh, little cabin for keeping warm. Uh, 
keep the drafts out. I keep, put my black cloth up here with the uh, screen and such. That keeps a lot of draft out. Look who I found! It's Stan! The sailing monkey! He's a... You ready to go, Stan? Yeah? Alright. Well, we're going to put the siren in the lake first. And those guys are... are going to go in. There we go. Okay, I got the boat in to help uh, everybody. Maybe, maybe just kick it back a little farther. You can still back it in. Jack knows. I'm here, I'm going to see if my buddy Willie's awake. Looks like he's been out playing. Kicking dirt around, I'm not so sure. Get in there, Willie. Yeah, he's sleeping. Sleepy groundhog. When we were eating supper, I could hear this crazy howling noise. And I think it's Brian's boat. His rigging is making some crazy howling. We'll see. I don't want to hear that all night. <laughs> Check out that sky. And that is Brian's boat making that crazy noise. <laughs> Pointing the wrong way for the, the wind, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Testing anchors. That's in. <laughs> the boat's at night. <laughs> Three in the parking lot, one in the lake. I'm in the lake. I'm at the dock though. So I've got uh, the door here closed. The uh, fiberglass pieces are on the outside and uh, the screen and, and door on the inside. And uh, I'm going to turn in for the night. Below in 90 out, you can hear. That's the wind. <laughs> so it's going down to 9 degrees tonight, which is balmy uh, compared to what it was last time we were here. It went down to minus 3 or something uh, the one night. So we will be fine. Uh, Looks like tomorrow morning the plan is have breakfast at Willie's. Uh, hopefully another guy turns up. He's uh, supposed to be here tomorrow morning. Uh, and uh, then we'll all go sail. We're plan right now is to sail to White Cloud Island and anchor there for the night. And then Sunday morning, sail back. So we'll see what happens. Who knows what's going to happen? Wind, weather, uh, boats, you know, you never know. So we'll, uh, we'll play it by ear. We'll just go with the flow and uh, go wherever it takes us. That wind is something else. The, the boat is shaking. <laughs> you know, I'm tied up to dock <laughs> instead of anchoring. The guy said, no, just tie up. Like nobody's going to say anything so and the dinghy's tied up too uh, so it's uh, floating along the side well, I'm gonna wrap it up here gotta edit this thanks for watching
please click the clicky things and uh, get out sailing.